Today we're going to be talking about how to determine whether or not the telescoping series is convergent or divergent, and if it is convergent, how to find its sum. And in this particular problem, we've been given this telescoping series, which is the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity, of our series here, which is e to the 1 over n power minus e to the 1 over n plus 1 power. Now, the best way to tell whether or not you actually have a telescoping series on your hands in the first place is to plug in the first several terms of the series, starting with whatever we've been given here, which in our case is n equals 1. So because n equals 1, we're going to be starting with 1, and we're just going to plug in the first several terms of our series to see what kind of series we end up with. So when we plug in 1, we get e to the 1 over 1, or just e to the 1, so that's e. When we plug in 1 to this second term here, we get 1 plus 1 in our denominator, which is 2. In other words, e to the 1 half, so we get minus e raised to the 1 half power. That's our first term in the series. Now, what do we get when we plug in n equals 2? Well, we get here for our first term e to the 1 half, so e to the 1 half minus, here when we plug in 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, so we get e to the 1 third, so minus e to the 1 third. Now what happens if we plug in n equals 3? So we get here e to the 1 third minus e to the 1 fourth, and you can start to see a pattern a little bit. Now, it should become obvious fairly quickly that this is a telescoping series because what we see if we look at this series is that the second value in the first term is always going to be the negative version of the first value in the second term. So here we have negative e to the 1 half. Here we have positive e to the 1 half. If we added these all up together, they would cancel with one another, right? They would net to zero. Here we have negative e to the one-third and positive e to the one-third. So those would cancel with each other. They'd also net to zero. And we could keep going. We'd cancel every term in between. If we continue on with this series until the end of the series, if it had an end, what we would get to for our nth term is our original series here, right? Our last term in the series would be e to the one over n minus e to the one over n plus one. That would be our last term. Okay, so if we have that, what we see is that we're going to end up canceling when you have a telescoping series and this is happening and these terms are canceling like this, you're always going to end up canceling every term in the middle of the series because this one is going to cancel with the first value in the next term. This e to the 1 minus n value is going to cancel with the second value in the previous term. That's going to go away as well. And all you're ever going to be left with is the very first term and the very last term. And so what we have here for a value of the nth partial sum or the, the series s sub n is equal to e, our first term here, e, minus e to the 1 over n plus 1, minus e to the 1 over n plus 1. Now, if you'll remember from before when we talked about series of partial sums, remember that our original series here we call a sub n. That's the original series e to the 1 over n minus e to the 1 over n plus 1. That's our original series a sub n. When we're talking about the series of partial sums, we denote it s sub n, and what we're talking about is adding all of these terms together and getting a model for that. Notice that this is a different value than our original series a sub n. This is a representation of the series of partial sums s sub n. The cool thing about a telescoping series is that if you can find an explicit value for the nth partial sum, that alone proves that the telescoping series is convergent. That's all you need. So as long as you can find this and you can easily find a value by canceling all these terms in the center and being left with just the first term and the last term like this and you get a model for the series of nth partial sums, you get this s sub n value. As long as you find this, you know that the telescoping series is convergent and that's essentially your convergence test for telescoping series. So that's going to be our proof that the series is convergent, so we can say it's convergent. Now, the only thing we need to know is what the sum of the series is. Well, it's really easy once we have a model for the series of partial sums, because if you'll remember, the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity 
of our series A sub n. This is just a, a definition. When we have a series A sub n and we're looking for the infinite sum here, that's going to be equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of the series of partial sums S sub n. So this is a convenient, sometimes convenient, easy way to find the sum of the series. If we can find a model for S sub n, the series of partial sums, all we have to do is take its limit as n approaches infinity, and that'll give us the sum of our original series. So we're going to change this here. The limit as n goes to infinity of S sub n. We're going to change that into the limit as n goes to infinity of our, our actual value for S sub n, which is e minus e to the 1 over n plus 1 power. So we get that. Okay, so now what happens if we evaluate this limit, if we plug in a very, very, very large value for n? Well, when we do that here in this exponent, we'll get essentially infinity or a very large number plus one. So in other words, just still a very large number in this denominator here. One or any constant over an extremely large number, that's always just going to tend to zero. This is going to become zero here. When that happens, we, we're left with e to the zero power. e to the zero power is just one. So this becomes our first value here, e minus e to the zero power, or in other words, e minus one. And this is the sum of our series, which we just found by taking the limit as n goes to infinity of our series of partial sums s sub n. The value we get for that, in our case e minus one, is the sum of our original series, the sum of the series a sub n.